Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh kit from Edward. As usual you'll find link to the detailed review article here in the video description below. Click it and read text in English and Russian. As you can see this is a limited edition dual combo kit which is molded in 170 second scale. It is called as LC8 and it copies Spitfires from Australian Air Forces. Basically this limited edition mimics what we saw before in 148 scale but this time we have it in a smaller size, it's 170 second. Uh, moreover, here we have, um, let's say, improved uh, publication inside which will bring you even more information and here we will find uh, one more marking option which is included into this set. So as you can see box size is quite typical for Edward, here you can see comparison with my hand. We have this bo beautiful box art on the front. Then on the side we have all marking options which are included into this kit and as you can see there are plenty of them. It's quite impressive amount. Don't forget that you will be able to build two of them. So it's also a nice bonus. And from the other side we have short list of all features which are included in this kit. So there are dual combo set. Uh, there is a book which is 112 pages about Spitfire MK8. Cartograph printed decals for 32 marking options and brassine wheels. Of course nobody stops you from buying extra brassine add-ons for your aircraft. But that's what we have standard. So this is a top opening box. By the way here we have more marking options. And I guess, no, only here. So you can see them. And here is what we have inside. So all plastic sprues are packed into the separate plastic bags. As I said before, those no, plastic kits are absolutely identical. They will let you build Spitfire MK8. We're gonna check one set because there is no use to check them together. They're absolutely similar. So let's start from transparent sprue. And I can hear some parts broken. Okay, so here they are. Maybe it's due to the uh, heavy weight of the book inside. Maybe because of our dear post, but here you can see all those parts. So basically all canopy parts broken off or they were included like this in order to copy MK8. I'm not sure. Let me check another one. Yes, another one also features one broken part, let's say, features. Anyway, let's zoom in. As you can see this is a circular part with all necessary transparent elements, molding quality is quite nice. Even though parts broke off, they are not damaged and it will be easy to clean them off and use on your model. Moreover, you shouldn't be worried about masking problems or any other issues because masks are included into the kit, so you just apply them and you have careful and nice paint finish. And of course you will be able to replicate the airplane with open canopy what is also quite a nice feature to have in a small 170 second scale. Then we have two sets of similar sprues which are dedicated to small parts. Again I will show you only one because uh, the reason is the same. Just give me a second to open it. Okay, so First one is dedicated to mix of different elements for cockpit and external detailing. Here we have landing gear covers, also two types of external tanks, some cockpit elements as I said before. Note that there are two types of the dashboard, one with pre-molded dials and one with plain surface. Next we have another plastic frame. This one is dedicated to uh, mostly external elements because here we have wheel rims, wheel tires, propeller hub, propeller itself and two cockpit elements, those are cockpit walls and as you can see they feature some pre-molded detailing, here you can see them closer actually they look quite good and I have assembled Spitfire in 170 second scale I can say that it's really nice and easy to build so you won't encounter any difficulties here then we have large plastic frame, this one is dedicated to wings and fuselage. Again I need a moment to open it and we will check 
this part's closer. First I want to show you these two narrow frames. They are dedicated to ailerons, tail wings and wing ends. Here you can see them. So some of them will go into your spare parts because they won't be used in this particular version of the airplane. Then we have, as I said, the largest frame in this set, which is dedicated to fuselage house and to wings. Parts division is quite typical for Eduard Spitfire, so we have fuselage halves molded together with tail segment, but without top cowling part. Note that top cowling part will have to be assembled out of two hulls, so you will have to be careful. And the same can be said about chin panel, which should be also glued out of two hulls. Uh, it might be tricky to deal with. Uh, seams between those two halves, but it will be up to you. You can also buy resin uh, replacement, which we reviewed on our YouTube channel. You can find its review on YouTube channel and website as well. As for the wing, uh, parts division, as you can see, features two top halves and one bottom half. Flaps are pre-molded. If you want to drop them, you will have to buy separate PE set. Uh, we have separate ailerons, air intakes and landing gear wheel wells. Inside there is almost nothing. We have some position elements for the proper alignment and in cockpit as you remember it assembles as a separate cocoon which should be inserted inside. Here you can see position elements for it. But note that still we have some guiding elements for proper alignment of fuselage halves together which is a quite nice feature to have. Next we have resin parts. Here they are. These are resin wheels as it was said in the beginning, oops sorry, and just give me a second to open it and we will check them closer. So they are absolutely identical, I will show you again on the one set. And the most interesting thing here is that this white part is 3D printed. Let's zoom in, here you can see them. So this is a tail strut and these are main wheels which are obviously better detailed than original plastic version. Next we have cover profiles which are printed in separate brochure. Here you can see it. It's a quite thick brochure. Here you can see how thick it is. And inside you will find marking guides for all 32 marking options. And that's quite impressive I would say. Maybe it will be useful with your future builds. Maybe you can buy some over three sets and try to copy all airplanes from this brochure. It will be up to you. But still, it's really, uh, let's say, colorful book. Assembly manual or instruction sheet is printed in form of separate brochure. Here you can see parts map. Note how many parts won't be used in this. Uh, model. Then we have assembly process which starts from the cockpit. It gradually continues into fuselage and wings. Here we have mask application guide and that's pretty much all. And the last printed bonus here is this. So this is as you can see second edition of the book from Peter Malone. Uh, now I need a second to open it because it's wrapped into special film. So just give me a second to tear it away. Actually the first book was also interesting because uh, it featured nice stories about Australian pilots and also it featured some really useful photos which should come handy for weathering and uh, also for painting your aircraft. But this upgraded let's say version it is more interesting because it contains some additional information and pages count was increased. I'm just trying to open this plastic wrapping and it's not that easy as you can see. So here they are. Okay, just remove it. So here it is. Book. It's a soft binding as you can see, soft cover. And inside you'll find these nice black and white photos with Spitfires, some stories from the pilots. Everything looks interesting and I think it will come handy for your build. By the way, you can find one of those uh, chapters in the recent info. 
So if you are interested what is it about, just find info and read it. Next we have PE frets. Here you can see them. These are painted PE frets and they carry internal and external parts. They are in included for both aircrafts. Then we have mask sheet, which is also packed into the separate plastic bag. You saw its application guide, so it will cover wheels and canopy. And also on the bottom we can find decal sheets. There are three of them, or maybe even four. Just give me a second to remove them out of their plastic bag. And we will check them closer. Straight away I can say that one of them is printed in cartograph, that's like for sure because it's a limited edition kit. And stencils probably printed by Edward. Okay, first we have those nice roundels, they're printed in cartograph as it's written here, or here. And then we have large decal sheet which features clever segmentation so that you won't have to cut through the whole uh, decal sheet. You just cut the necessary segment and then use it on your model. Actually I appreciate such approach and I hope we'll see uh, the same uh, let's say schematics in future Edward kits like profit packs or other limited editions. And as I said we have also small, two small decal sheets which are dedicated to stencils and they are printed in Edward. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, leave your opinion in the comment section below. If you like this video and want to help us, press the like button. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all fresh video reviews on time. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.